Facebook, Instagram, Google Plus, and Twitter. It's the Madeline and Mommy Show. Woo! Yeah, what are you doing? Hopscotch backwards, okay. Show. Hi guys, so it's Madeline and Mommy show yep. and we're here with our new episode coming out, Mad Quarantine, right? Uh-huh. So in this episode we have a lot of things going on. We have some of our beauty queen reporters that have checked in to talk to y'all about the pandemic and yeah. uh, we filmed various uh, scenes here at the house with uh, different uh, crafts that Madeline has come up with. We've done some gardening and some cooking and... Uh -huh and uh, a lot of fun stuff. So we're really excited for you guys to see our new episode, Mad Pandemic. Hi, I'm Nicole Wara, Cheek USA, Lifetime Star Reporter. It is important to stay home, stay safe, stay healthy. Well, if you're at home, you can read, you can color, you can play games, and you can even write thank you cards. Remember, stay home and shine like the star you are. So we're back. Hi guys, we're back. Yes. And I entered us um, into a raffle last weekend yes. for Easter, and um, actually with one of our besties and uh, designers, Chubby Line, right, Egypt, you fell, and Driva, you fell. We want to give you guys a huge shout out. Thank you so much because our names were picked for that drawing and we won uh, $100, which was sent immediately through Cash App. And a big and box of stuff. one of those big box of stuff from the Easter basket that we're getting ready to show you right now. So, so here we go. On the top. Beautiful candle. It's handmade. Beautiful candle. We'll go through this stuff kind of quick. Then we have this really pretty heart mirror. Gorgeous. It's like a style mirror. So one way. Beautiful. Uh, one way, another way. We have these soap um, roses. So you can wash your hands with them, but... Um, they're really pretty, and they are made of soap. They smell really good. We have lavender body powder and lavender um, lotion. Ooh, my favorite, Skin So Soft. I love, love Skin we So Soft. We have a set. This is Avon. So let's see what else Very we nice. have in here. Ooh, this is pretty. So then we have a scarf. That's beautiful. It's a pretty pattern. Yeah, it's really pretty. And it's big. You like, wear look how big it. the scarf is. Look, I'll show you. It's huge. Like, we can both wear this scarf at the same time. Oh. And then you... Oh, and then you're supposed to, like, cover your face? I guess you could cover your face with that, right? Ooh, that's very fashionable. Or you feel like this. Oh, where'd she go? <laughs> but that's a really pretty scarf. That's a really cute scarf. Okay. Oh, here's my favorite. Whoa. Whoo, Lysol. <laughs> you can never have too much of that. Shoo. Ooh, that smells good, too. We have some Kleenex. Always need a good Kleenex. Yeah, definitely need Kleenex. And we also have a tubby scrubber. We have some bath salts. Three bath salts. It looks like mommy already used one. But they smell really good. Okay, this is the good part. That is the good part. We have And thank you, Egypt. Miss Egypt made some masks for Madeline. This one's big. This is my mom's. We we got that one. This one's oh, mine. Are you gonna try them all on? So you are protected when you go out in public. Okay? We also got a black one that is we in my room We have a black room one right here now. somewhere. Yeah, it's somewhere in here. We're using it. Okay, let's see what else we have. 
Well, that's we really have, nice. Somebody made some beautiful homemade soap. We soaps. have a bath bomb, two bath bombs, and really good homemade soap. It smells super good. We have, oh my gosh, I have this. Yeah, that's cute. We have this really pretty fan. Super cute. It is, I'm not exactly sure, Mommy Moisture and... Maui moisture. Oh, That's cute. I opened it the wrong way. That's for those dates when it's mm. hot. And ah, very nice. We have. I'm not exactly sure what this is. Silk body lotion. Lotion. Like lotion. I want to try some. Ready? We're gonna do it a review good. of this. It smells good. It's like I'm not exactly sure what this is. This is not lotion. Well, you've got to don't get it everywhere. Okay, I'm gonna put it on my arms, I guess. Is Ooh. this like oil? It smells like cocoa butter. Okay, that's interesting. So, okay, can I show them my favorite part, please? This is my favorite. I've already used it. It's a candle that smells amazing. It's sugar cookie. Like sugar cookies. Oh my gosh. I just want to, I want to eat, bless you. <laughs> I want to eat this candle so bad. Oh, it smells delicious. Yes, I love that candle. Okay, so what else do we have? This is my earring case. Yeah, that's a lipstick case, a.k.a. earring case now. All my earrings are in there. It comes with a little mirror. Oh, you can see our tripod. How fun is that? And I have a bunch of earrings here. I'll put mine on. These are my earring line. If y'all are interested, here, Mom, put your ear She made earrings for both of us. This is, oh, this is cute. It's her birthstone, that one is. That's pretty. I have my butterflies today. My little butterflies. And if you guys have to be careful. Try not to eat. <laughs> what? Or anything with your mask on. <laughs> Mom, what? I tried to eat with my mask on the other day. <laughs> Are you dumb dumb? <laughs> and make sure after every use, you spray your mask with Lysol. Very important. Use plenty of hand sanitizer. Yeah. And um, make sure you keep all your surfaces clean. You can use rubber gloves. We have tons of rubber gloves here. Oh and, yeah, let me show you. And your masks. An example. We got rubber gloves. We've got masks. We got hand sanitizer. We've got Lysol. We have what else? That's pretty much the main thing. Just make sure you wash your hands on a regular basis. Keep washing your hands. Practice your social distancing. If you do have to go out in public, try to stay six feet away from other people. One this size, is a pretty this color. is one size fits most. They're latex free gloves. Yeah, they are. So if you're allergic to latex, these are pretty good. Make sure you spray your mask Ready? after each use. Ready, Mom? Let me see the Lysol. She's going to Lysol. Not the gloves. Why are you Lysoling your gloves? And then... Now, ready? This is how I prepare for going out. You gotta let it dry off before you put it on. Mm, that's all is fine. Oof. <laughs> He'll live. I'm waiting a minute before I put mine on. All right, so we're all ready to go to Walmart. <laughs> Hang on, give me a second. I'm not ready yet, Wall. Well, I was my new hangout. Alright, we're ready to go grocery shopping. Oh, this is cute. I've never seen it. I want to show. I'll open it. <laughs> Look. We have a flashlight. It looks really cool. Turn it on. It looks just like a flashlight, but it's flat. How cute is that? Oh no, don't shine it in their eyes. That's really neat. It's really cute. I thought it was a taser at first. But... No. <laughs> no, it's a flashlight that actually looks like a flashlight. That's adorable. We have a sewing kit. Yeah, Everybody which you already used. So we have, hold on. 
don't pull anything else yet. Okay. We have needles, a bunch of different colored um, strings. So we have red, black, dark blue, green, and thread. white. Thread, thread, not string, thread. Thread. We have buttons and pins. We have a thimble. There is also a little uh, threader. Can I show them my No, part? not this is my yet. <laughs> and then we have thread cutters. Okay. So show them what you made. Yes. So this was like in the box. It was torn up. up. It was wrapped up and she wanted to make Egypt proud. Hang on, I gotta find it. So she sat down with her sewing kit. This is the and she made a skirt okay, yeah. out of this piece of fabric. So it buttons up at the top, like so. And she sewed buttons on it and everything. Butterfly. So buttons like at the waist. The hole. And then we have this little tie. I'll show you. So this is the So this skirt. is her skirt. So it's like. How cute is that? Very cute. She did that like in a few minutes in her bedroom. That she's remodeling. Yeah, it's cute. It ties in the front like that. And, and it buttons. It's buttons up at the top around the waist. It's cute. I hemmed the side of it because it was really ragged and edged. But <coughs> it's adorable. It's like a little skirt you can wear out on the town. It's really cute. Very cute. I like it. Hi, my name is Jade. I'm a California Lifetime Petite Reporter. I know everyone is scared for the... For their loved ones and themselves. The coronavirus has has many deaths. I ask that we stand together to go against this invisible enemy by doing our part, by following the shelter in place laws, washing your hands, staying practicing six feet or more away from people, help 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 be the hero the world needs. You can still socialize by by any video chat app. The coronavirus is no joke. Stay safe, stay home, and remember you're not Then alone. we make making spaghetti with ground turkey sauce. So the first step of doing this is washing your hands. And then right now what we're doing is defrosting our meat. So obviously there's a selection on your microwave that says defrost, select meat. So first I'm gonna turn on my water to high. And I'm going to I have spaghetti here, and I'm just going to use all of it. So I'm going to use it. I'm going to break it up. I'm breaking it and putting it in the water. And I know a lot of people don't do that until it boils, but I just do it straight away. So right now my noodles are boiling. If you can see, there's this weird stuff in it. That is just from the starch. And so my noodles are pretty much almost finished. Once they're done, we're going to be using the stove. When you're a kid, you always have to have um, pair of supervision. And since I've put the spaghetti in there already, I'm going to add a little bit of Himalayan pink salt to make it boil faster. It closes in the heat. Every now and then with the fork. So that they sort of loosen it up a little bit and become softer. And don't stick to the bottom. My neighbors are done, so I'm gonna be putting them in the strainer now. I'm just putting water, cold water over them so they cool down a little bit. So I'm starting my meat right now. My, my stove is on high. So right now what I'm doing, is breaking up the meat. It still is a little bit frozen, but it's good enough to cook. So what I do is I first I break it up and then I flatten it out and let it cook on one side and then I flip it over to let it, and flatten it again and then let it cook on the other side. I'm gonna add some Prego sauce, okay? Here we go. Don't splash. And I'm just going to use the entire bottle. So now I'm stirring in my spaghetti sauce. And I'm going to limit 
let it simmer for about um, 15 to 20 minutes. I mix my noodles up. I know that's kind of playing with my food. I don't care. No, it's fine. I just like it to be all over all my noodles. I don't like just like the top half to have sauce and not the bottom. I get it. So just let me mix it around real quick. Okay, let's try it. It smells so. <laughs> it's really good. Um, yeah, you guys should try this recipe. If you try it at home, you like it. <laughs> Miss Madeline likes ground beef. <laughs> it's her first time trying ground beef. <laughs> It's really good, and I think you guys should try it at home. Hopefully you like this recipe, and hopefully you make it. Goodbye! Hi, this is Caroline Taylor, your USA Miss Lifetime reporter, reporting from my home here in South Carolina. We are under quarantine. This is week five uh, because of the coronavirus, and I am here at my house with my three children, and we are um, doing pretty good. Life has changed a little bit. I homeschool, so... Having the kids home hasn't been a huge difference for uh, me, thankfully, but not being able to take them out, um, going to the grocery store on my own all the time, not seeing any children running around, no more hanging out with friends. It's been a little difficult, and uh, but we are getting some things done around here, some uh, house projects and also playing some games at night. Anyways, I wish everyone all the best, and I hope that this season passes quickly. But while you are at home, and if you have family around, um, a spouse or kids or anyone that you can see, enjoy the quality time, and thank God for your personal health. Talk to you later. Hi, I'm Afton Newcomb, your USA Lifetime reporter, and I'm reporting here from South Carolina, and I just wanted to give my personal input from the COVID-19 so far. For Easter, it's been kind of interesting because we have, it was canceled and also we had, but it was lots of fun because I had fun with my family and we made slime and it was great. And not being able to go to the grocery store to go get groceries with my mom has also been kind of interesting because I have to sit in the car and it's very boring. And so life has been very interesting so far here in South Carolina, especially after the extreme alert. And so we've just kind of been isolated and you know it's great because we have great family quality time and everything. So it's been an experience and it's also been just some great time with my family. Thank you for checking in. Hey guys, so Bye. I'm going to be doing a face mask. I'm going to be painting a face mask. Um, so what I'm going to start off with is what's called liquid white, which that's just the fancy way of saying diluted white from parapaint. This is from parapaint. I just add a little bit of water into it and mix it up and I just start off with this as a base so that I can cover up whatever's on there like these black letters um so I'm doing my third color I'm doing blue that's gonna be very colorful when it's done um these are the only three colors I think I'm using well you have a ton more Look at all this paint. I might do a green. And you've got sparkles in there. I'm definitely doing the sparkles over it, just so you know. Awesome. I'm doing sparkles over the middle, and that's about it. So, um, I just finished. This is what it looks like. Um, so, the advice that I want to give to you for wearing these masks is, you always want to have a mask with a nose piece in it. And that's a heavy duty mask. And you always want to have one with the metal on the outside it's, or else Right, it seals all the way around your face. Yeah, or else you can actually get air into there like, and then get the germs. Yeah. Um you could paint on it if you wanted to, but I would like you 
you should decorate it, but you shouldn't paint like I did. If you're going to paint like I did, um, it might get a little bit of paint on You the have to let it dry. You do. That's all you have to do. That's it. So I just put the mask. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you I fine, like beautiful. I'm having like a lift under here. But That's actually really beautiful. I know you had your reservations like halfway through. Yeah, I was just like getting over it. Ooh. You didn't think it looked very good? Well, take it off You're so we can see your beautiful mask face. Is very like important on which kind you have. Like the ones that just tuck around your ears. I see a lot of people wearing those, but they're not the safest in the world. They're not sealed. And I saw one lady with it like just under her nose at Walmart. And I saw another lady with it like resting on her chin. Yeah, no, you can't do that. You have to put it all the way around the whole nose and the mouth area. Very if good. If you're going to buy one of the nose pieces, you're going to have to have the metal here. It has to have the metal or else it's a faulty mask. Awesome. And the ones with the metal, you can bend a little bit. So if your nose is flatter, if it's. So my nose is a little small little nose, so you just bend it to size so that no air is coming in or out. Awesome. Thanks. And me and my mom share it. <laughs> Hello, I'm Jennifer Weiniger, USA Mrs. Plus reporter, and tonight we'll be talking about this pandemic that all of us have been going through. Every day is a different day for everybody, something that we're not used to. We're learning day by day on the different things, on what to do, the precautions to take, and we're experiencing a whole new life that we than we knew before. None of us expected this to happen. You see things that we never thought we'd see, like people hoarding toilet paper, hand sanitizer, and all these different cleaners going off the shelves at record pace. You know, it's very hard to find. However, I, I do believe that you know, give it time and everything's going to restock itself and balance itself out once these companies get a handle on the supply and the demand. Obviously, there's more demand than there is supply, so I'm sure they're working over time to accommodate us and everyone in this time of need. Right now, it's best to just stay home, wash your hands, keep your family safe, stay away from beaches and any designated areas. Of course, there's takeout options, there's delivery options that include contactless delivery. There's different businesses that are open just for a limited time. There's a social distancing, and that's a good idea because if we're not close enough to another person, we can't obviously get it. So we need to just look out for each other and ourselves, our family, and our friends. There are things we can do during this time that we have not been able to just normally do in everyday life. We can reach out to friends and family that we've not talked to for a while. We can talk to people that maybe we just didn't get along with and see if we can work things out. We can show our kids new things. Like for the older kids, they can learn how to do laundry. They can learn how to cook. They can learn how to clean. If you got little ones like I have a little one, you know, work with them with those numbers or her with her numbers, letters, anything you can think of to keep them busy around the house. This is a time you can spend with your family and friends. Call that friend that you haven't spoke with in a while or that family member to see how they're doing. This is the time to reach out to people. If you have extras, if you have a friend or family member in need, go ahead and help them every day. Do something nice to the best of your ability to make every day better for somebody else as well as yourself. So I want to take this time for, you know, being a part of this and you know, reaching out and watching these videos and looking at what differences that our group does here and different people that, you know, you get to be around because this is ever changing. We never know what's going to happen one day to the next. They say that there's going to be beaches opening soon. That's a county by county decision. There's businesses that will probably be gradually opening in the middle of April. We don't know yet because this is just an ever evolving situation. So stay tuned, stay safe, and thank you very much. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be making some citric juice because we have to stay full of vitamin C during this pandemic, the coronavirus pandemic. So what I started out with was eight cups of cold water. I have three lemons and six oranges. So first thing we're gonna do is cut up the lemons. Always have parent supervision and make sure your hands are clean when you do this. 
So you're going to cut all of the fruit in half first. I can't really smell the orange, but I can definitely smell the lemon. It's very potent, but it smells so good. It smells like citrus. That's good. I think it should look like this. There should be no more juice left in it. So if you can lick it and you still taste flavor, then, this, then you have it squeezed all the juice out. Yeah. So I just finished squeezing my last lemon. Awesome. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to mix it in and have a little taste. So let's mix. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. So I just finished up mixing and now I'm gonna pour it over a cup with ice in it. And to garnish. Let's try it out. It's really good. So hopefully you guys try this recipe at home. And thank you guys so much for watching. Hey guys, I'm Jasmine Baker, your Mrs. Florida reporter. And I am here today to talk to you guys about this pandemic that is going on. COVID-19. Coronavirus. <laughs> anyway, y'all jokes aside, guys, I know that this is driving us crazy. It's driving me crazy. Being home, stuck with these kids, his schoolwork, doing math problems I haven't done. I think I've never done. But anyway, I just want to um, take the time out to, on a serious note, to um, send my condolences to the families who are dealing with this on a personal level, the individuals who are actually suffering from this virus, um, family members who have lost their loved ones, having to bury them. Um, guys, we do need to take this serious. Stay home if you can. I've seen a video today, I believe it was loaded, um, in New York, where they were loading a 16-wheeler full of dead bodies, people who died from this virus, y'all. Like, my heart dropped watching that video. We have to stay home and, and take this matter very serious, y'all. Hi, guys. So today, um, I'm going to be showing you some stuff you can do while you're in quarantine. So while uh, I've been in quarantine, we've been doing a lot of yard work. And today I'm going to be planting some sunflowers. You're going to plant your sunflowers. So sunflowers come in lots of different variety and different prices. So some of the prices are really cheap. Like look at how cheap we got these for. And so the kinds of sunflowers we have is American seed, um, mammoth Russian, and annual. And this one grows up to five. Five feet. Get this soil already. So what I'm gonna do first is rake. But before you do that, you're gonna pull all your weird your weeds in that area. So and now I'm going to plant this on top. First, what I'm gonna do is grab three. Just grab one seed and put it in the middle hole. And then cover it back up. When you do it, you have to make sure to space them out evenly because sunflowers need space to grow. Sometimes you have little kids or if you just got dirty in general, wash your hands. And your feet. And your shoes. Lightly spray, lightly, because you don't want to flood it. Keep going, lightly spray, hold it up. Hold it up, there you go. Woo! You gotta water your 
your seeds. Dates to see how our sunflowers are doing. Hello, everybody. It's your USA Lifetime Reporter, Diva Rose. And I'm just rolling through to see how well you're doing. Are you well? Is your family well? If so, that's awesome. Are you practicing those safety measures to keep you safe, your family safe, and others safe? If so, continue to do so. Because together, we can conquer this coronavirus. Yes, we can. And we can get back to our lives. So I want to wish your family continued good health. And until we meet again, peace, love, and happiness. Peace out. Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make a face mask for COVID-19. So uh, today I'm going to be using a silk bandana, but you can also use a cotton so bandana. So take the side that you want. I want this side and put it on the bottom. Now we're going to fold into the middle on one side and then into the middle on the other. And then fold one more time on top of both. Now we're going to put our hair ties on each side like this. Um, just to like a little bit, like a quarter of each way. It look like this where the all the folds are in the back. And we're going to flip it over. And we're going to turn one side in. And pull the hair tie out. Pull the other side in. Pull the hair tie out. And then put this inside this. Like that. And now we put one side on one here. And there you have it, a face mask. Aloha everybody, my name is Ruth Velasquez, your Mrs. Hawaii reporter, and I hope you're all in good health and in good spirits in this very unusual and critical time that is happening right now in history. Um, this is definitely going to go down in history books, but I just wanted to give you a friendly reminder to stay positive, keep your spirits up. Um, we're all having to stay home. The world has completely slowed down and we have to stay home. Um, and now it is the best time to make the most of it. Catch up on those Netflix videos and programs. Get to know your family like even better. Um, catch up on that hobby that you've been meaning to get to but just haven't had the chance to. Play games, have fun, you know, make the best of it. Keep your spirits up. Um, but most importantly, first and most importantly, please stay home. Stay home unless you have essential errands to run for your household. Please, please stay home for your safety and our safety. Number two, wash, 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 wash. Wash those hands and use the 20 second rule, okay? With that being said, if you haven't washed your hands, do not touch your face. Don't touch your mouth, don't touch your nose, and don't touch your eyes, okay? Next, you guys have been doing such a great job buying out all the cleaning supplies that I can't even find any cleaning supplies, although I do have some. But you guys have been doing such a great job. So keep cleaning your surfaces, keep using your sanitary measures to keep everything clean and germ-free. Keep wiping your surfaces. You guys are doing a great job, okay? And also, if you need to cough or sneeze, cough in your elbow if you don't have a tissue, all right? So remember, <coughs> okay? <laughs> remember, use your elbow if you don't have a tissue to cough or sneeze. If you do have a tissue, cough and sneeze in your tissue and please discard it right away, all right? And next, and lastly, but not, not well, the last but not the least, use the six foot rule the six foot social distancing right if you see another human being try if you can use the six foot distance but let me tell you guys do not freak out okay unless the person is heaving over coughing they look and they're hacking and they look like they're gonna fall over don't freak out let's not get phobic either at the same time let's not get phobic let's not get human phobia if that's a word all right so let's not get human phobia all right but try to keep your distance all right from one another just for for this you know time being but most of all have fun make the most of it 
look out for each other and look out for the elderly too. If you know someone who is elderly, don't forget to check up on them. All right. So that's my tip, guys, for making the most of the times. Aloha. I have my hair ties around my wrist and. I'm ready to go Walmart, She's ready to go. She is all set for this pandemic. And she's been working really hard on getting her homework done, online schooling, right? Uh-huh. And uh, a lot of changes, but a lot of good things coming up, too. So you guys make sure you stay safe, stay home, keep everything nice and clean and tidy. Um, you know, do whatever your governor says to do. And uh, hopefully alone together we can get past this pandemic. So... We thank you all for watching and continuing to support us. God bless you all. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up on our YouTube channel, Madeline and Mommy Show. Show them your thumb. <laughs> yes. And like us on all our social media, Madeline and Mommy Show. If you'd like to be a part of our upcoming live event, Mad's Fashion Show, you can send an email to madmommyshow2015 at gmail.com. Thank you so much for your continued support. Bye. Bye. I'll see you all at Walmart. <laughs>